We each use around 150 litres of water every day. But when you take a shower or flush the toilet and watch the water disappear down the drain, have you ever wondered where it all goes? All the wastewater we produce in our homes, schools and businesses goes on a long journey through Welsh Water's network of sewers, which stretches for 36,000 kilometres around the country. Along the way, it joins other wastewater, which includes industrial waste and rain that falls on our roads and towns. Although what runs through our sewers is 99% water, it also contains a high level of impurities. So it's vital that we purify this wastewater so we can safely return it to a river or the sea where it can become a part of the natural water cycle again. And it all happens in one of our treatment works. This is how wastewater looks before it is treated. And this is how it looks at the end of the process. In between, we take it through a range of processes to make it safe. The first stage is called screening. Wastewater flows through a metal sieve that removes floating objects, such as wet wipes, cotton buds, rags and plastics. All of these are shredded, compressed and collected in a skip and taken to a landfill. After this, we slow down the wastewater flow through grit channels so that grit and other heavy particles can settle to the bottom and be removed. Organic material stays suspended in the water. Once the grit has been removed, the wastewater flows into primary settlement tanks where the fine solid particles settle to the bottom of the tank. We call this sludge. The cleaner water flows over the weirs of the tank and onto the next stage. The sludge at the bottom of the tank is scraped away and goes on for further treatment. In some treatment works, we generate electricity from the sludge. We call this poo power. In other works, we process the sludge so that farmers can use it as a fertiliser. In the next stage, we treat the water biologically. We do this in two different ways. In a biological filter, we spread the water over a deep bed of small stones. The spaces between the stones allows air to circulate through the filter bed. As the water seeps through, bacteria, fungi and other organisms feed on the organic matter in the wastewater turning it into water, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. The second method is called the activated sludge process. Here we agitate the wastewater by pumping in lots of air. This keeps the bacteria supplied with oxygen and allows them to multiply. These bacteria then feed on the organic material in the water. In the final part of the process, the wastewater flows into settling tanks where the used activated sludge settles leaving a clean, clear liquid. This water, or final effluent, is now clean enough for us to return it to rivers and the sea, where it joins the natural water cycle, so it can start its long journey all over again.